Alright, what's up guys? Today we do something a little different. Today we're gonna be working on bicycles. I got a mountain bike and I also got a 20 inch uh, 2001 2002 uh, Dino GT. So that'd be pretty cool to refix. I already kind of fixed it, you gotta take it apart, paint it up, and stuff like that. This is my 2019 or 2020 GT Avalanche. Um, brother sold it to me, uh, $700. I did a lot of upgrades already. I did the fork, uh, stem, bars, grips. Added a one by crank set for a buck loose. Also a buck loose. Um, got the rear end fixed up. I got Maxi's tires on it. Here's the rear one. I just picked it up from the bike shop. Did a uh, Cozer 490. Uh, get the boy. Come here, Narco. Nope, 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 nope. Get up. Uh, Narco, Husky. We got a little crazy. They're trying to walk some dogs and he got loose. But uh, anyway, got the hub back. It is a Cruiser 490XM. It is gold and it makes a lot of noise compared to the stock one. Oh yeah, sounds good. Can't wait to install this. Just picked up the wheel. Uh, they did charge $136 to do the exchange, lace the wheels, and make it all lined and everything. So I was gonna do the fronts as well. I got the hub already, but I didn't want to wait two weeks to get the bike back. So I just told them to do the rear. Mainly that's what I wanted to do because. It's a more of a free wheel spin, the other one original just kept spinning slowly, slowly. And uh, this one, no issue yet, so I'll drop it off another day. But now that gold, it just looks amazing. They did the uh, black spokes, black nipples, laced it out pretty good. Um, see, there's the chrome spokes, chrome nipples. This wheel just looks built nice. But other than that, these are 160 millimeter rotors. I did buy some new ones, so we'll be upgrading rotors on the mountain bike. These I got for the uh, for the wheel. Um, I am upgrading brakes. Like I said, I already upgraded the chain. I upgraded the one by because that was a three by three by one. Um, also upgraded the cassette, which is the gears, uh, 42 tooth, I believe. Um, the hub. What else? Uh, stem. All the front end pretty much so pretty fun um brother got me into to riding and uh sugarland trails and passing and stuff like that but other than that we open up this package right here and uh see what we got so uh oh dana shorted me so i only got one hopefully it doesn't affect it it's a bracket for the rotor or the brake caliper. And two, two, two or three millimeter um, rotors. But yeah, they screwed me. I ordered two of these and they only sent me one. Well, that sucks. I guess I'll put these on the rear and I won't, because I won't even change out the front one. So that stinks. All right, so here's the rotors. Um, like I said, I did get short, short eight brackets, so I won't be able to install one of them, which would be the front one, I guess. I'm going to put the rear wheel on. Look at that. I think it's huge compared to the original. I think it's a 160. This will be a 203 millimeter. It's way bigger, better design. Should probably be better to stop I guess you know you're going down hills and you're going uphill and stuff so you need brakes so pretty cool let me take this one off throw this one on there and uh, put the wheel on
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the rotor is on. Man, it's actually pretty badass. It's pretty big. Get out of the way. The, you'll see the background. Get on this side. So, bridge in the rotor. New rotor. Damn, this thing is sick. It's amazing how what little things can make a, a bike look so much better. So, gold hubs, badass rotors. Now I gotta take the uh, caliper off. I gotta put a spacer on there so I can space out the rotor. Hopefully it all fits. And hopefully, uh, I don't have to take it back off and put the original back on. If not, waste the video, but oh well. We'll post it anyway, if it works or not work. Um, and then we'll, here's the new hubs. Very clicky, can't wait to try it out. Also try out the new forks I haven't tried out yet, so should be exciting. I'm gonna take the caliper off. Caliper is loose. Uh, this is uh, so, totally new compared with what I'm used to. Uh, this is actually a hydraulic uh, driven caliper, so it's not no internal cable going in. It's all done by hydraulic fluid, some kind of fluid. And then when you press it, it's supposed to give like a quick response to it. So pretty neat how much, you know, the bike has gone from something old like the 2000 model uh, Dyno versus the 2019 or 2020 GT Avalanche. So it's pretty awesome. Let's get through. I got the space around, like I said, hopefully this is a correct spacer for it. I did try to do my research and it's kind of hard. A lot of people don't talk about it. So hopefully this is the right one. I think I got it right. Screw this down, it might be backwards, but I'll double check. And caliper should bolt up like that, spacing it out. Hopefully, these rotors are not too big. Um, the package just say 180 uh, 203, but I hope it's not a upgrade from a 182 203 instead of 162 180. So, hopefully, the rotors are actually the right ones for the bike. So, we'll see. Here it is, looks pretty badass. So, can't wait to get the front the gold on, the gold hubs on. Oh yeah, look at that clicking. It's gonna be badass, sounds really, really good. Um, other than that, I think the caliper is gonna work. Put it in. Yes, I think it is, let me see. Let's mess with it. Adapter is on, so it is the right way. Up, facing down. Uh, spacer is on, bolted up. I got the Tektro caliper bolted down already. Big ass two two or three millimeter rotors. That thing's amazing. Look at that. Here's the original. This is a 160. This is a 203. And you know, top of the line bikes already come with like 180s. Um, the 203s are the upgraded version ones, and I saw this this design. I liked it. I had to get it. So here it is. Compare. Big old difference. So wait for the bracket to come in since they shorted me a bracket so I won't be able to do this one but man it would have been amazing um, it did come with new bolts I didn't see it till late it's already bolted on so I used the original oh well but look at that big old difference so, so if I like the mountain bikes and stuff this into the channel let me know pretty fun go bike riding so there it is. Let me show you how that hub sounds and show you the original original hub. So here was the original hub. These were the GT. No name brand. I don't think no name on there or anything like that. Um, Birdie Clicks. I don't know how it sounds on the camera. But uh, this one is like three times louder. Let me see. There it goes. Hit that click, 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 click. That's what I wanted. 
good bikes are loud and I want this one to sound really loud. Brakes work. Nothing but bees. And the pool. Because we pedal backwards. Instant engagement, it is a six paw. Yeah, you're way low. So that sounds amazing. Let me ride this and I'm gonna get my daughter. Hi. <laughs> and get her to uh, record me going down the street. This is the, I think it's a 2001 uh, Dino GT. Uh, oh, with donut wheels. I did put donut wheels on it. Peaks and donuts. So, um, this bike, my dad bought it when we were like 14, 15 years old. What's this? Okay. We're like 14, 15 years old. Um, bought it from a bike shop down in Pasadena called Bowling Cycles. Um, the tires were rotten, shot. It was left outside in the rain for years and years and years. Um, I did take it apart, took this apart, oh, took out the brains apart. Yes, yeah, so that's why it's, it's rusted because it stayed outside. Oh. Um, all the wheels are taken apart. I uh, re greased the bearings. The bearings are good. Uh, new tubes, new tires. Um, the only thing I got to do left is uh, try to clean up this rust, which is kind of bad. And rust right here. Rust everywhere. But the bike didn't stop the bike from running uh, pretty good. So what I'm going to do, take this off again. going to paint the fork, handlebar, stem, print out a new GT logo out of, with the crew cut machine. Um, paint this black as well. And then this side right here, which is GT Racing Crank. Uh, leave it alone, just repaint. Uh, re-gloss it with the 2k clear and then repaint this print out another GT racing sticker and then gloss over it uh, pedals I did order but they're wrong but these, so these I got pedals these to unfreeze so still kind of hard other than that um, the only thing I do is put back is the brakes and uh, this thing rolls pretty neat this is a 2001 to 2003 VFR Dyno GT it's an awesome bike 20 inch and then my 2019 Avalanche. So pretty badass. Like I said, if y'all like the bicycle scene, um, subscribe. Um, like I said, similar to fixing up cars, cars, you know, trucks. I did put new tires on it, so it's lifted a little higher, looking good. Let's get uh, some sound clips of this one. And then I'll get some rolling shots of this one. Probably another video, I will take it apart, or maybe this video, I'll take it apart and start painting everything. But other than that, man, that's a good looking bike. Or might even leave it at that. Oh, sucks I got white grips. They already got dirty so bad. But, yeah. I'm just recording at the bike. <laughs> How you went on the sidewalk, Daddy? You're easier doing on the door that bike, Daddy. Bike feels amazing. Sounds really loud, the hub, I love it. Gotta do the front ones. We'll drop it off another day to get the hubs changed out on the front. Uh, 203 millimeter. Rotors are fire. So, can't wait to get an adapter. Figure out, see if a local shop has it. I'll just return the Amazon one back. But other than that, man, it's a nice looking bike. So, let me ride that one real quick. So this is the GT BFR Dyno. I call it the donut bike. The donut bike, the donut tire. Wait till this car passes by. I want to move. Easier to do that one. Easier. Daddy, okay? <laughs> I didn't stop it. Nope. <laughs> nice. So obviously, I'm not a young kid anymore. He fell. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. He's do sick as wheelies on this racing bike. Sick as wheelies. There it is, guys. Got the BFR. I 
said, go on the, the bike. The GT Avalanche. Go on the bike. <laughs> so, if you like the content, subscribe. We'll go some off-roading trails, record that. And then we'll keep riding this one. Other than that, man, this hub sounds amazing. So. So, there it is, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna take this bike apart another day. Uh, repaint the handlebars and all the other goodies and stuff. But yeah, other than that, yeah, take the rest off. Um, go riding on this one, off trails. Um, we'll record that. We'll make some videos since I got GoPro, so we'll, we'll do that. Whether or not, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you next time.